I was recently advised to go and look at um, some of Heidegger's writing. I've read some of his stuff before but, and looked at some videos about it. But uh, I was advised to go and look at his idea of Lichtung, which is a concept that appears in being and time and then it appears later in his writings also. What's sort of interesting about it from my perspective, just in terms of how it's joining the dots for some of my thinking and making a bigger picture, is how he's um, how he's using this term lictum changes throughout. It's generally translated, certainly in relation to being and time, as something to do with light, the lighting, or the lightness. Um, and it's kind of to do with a revealing of truth, or a revealing of, of being, a, a revealing of, of, of the existence of something, and the truth of that existence. And it's sort of contrasted as an understanding of truth with uh, both correspondence and coherence ideas of truth. Correspondence theory of truth is very simple. You know, if I say the cat is on the mat, and out there in the real world there is a cat sitting on a mat that everyone can see, then my words correspond to the actuality of the cat and the mat, so therefore my statement is true. Very routine. Uh, coherent understandings of truth, as I get it, are more to do with how logic works, or more, more clearly illustrated to how logic works. So if I say um, uh, all dogs have legs, and then I say Phoebe is a dog, then it follows from that that Phoebe has legs. I don't actually need to see the dog to understand that. That truth is derived from the two previous statements. Phoebe has legs. It's derived from the two previous, the syllogism, the two previous statements. Um, so there's a coherence amongst those three statements. And the truth of the final statement um, rests on the coherence of those statements. So that's, as I understand it at least, coherence theory is the truth. What Heidegger, I think, is talking about, which I think elsewhere is called something like, oh God, Aletheria, something like that. This idea of truth being um, not resting on either coherence or uh, correspondence, but resting on a kind of revealing, um, a kind of remembering, a kind of bringing into being. And I think Aletheria is related to Lethe, which is the river of forgetting in Greek mythology. Anyway, that's a, sort of a side issue. The, um, so, uh, so the lichtung, the light, or the lightness, or the lightening in Heidegger, is the light which uh, reveals, that kind of thing, reveals the truth of something. The tree over that I'm looking at right now is true. It, the tr it exists. It has a true being, not because um, uh, it's such a hard concept to get my head around. Not because it corresponds to my conceptualization of tree. The word tree isn't a correspondence thing. Nor is there sort of coherent um, understanding of truth and being there. It's, the tree is true because it's revealed in the light of my knowing it. So light here is a metaphor for knowing, or, or light is a, is a property of the space, the conceptual space in which I can come to know something like a tree. Just like the real light is part of the necessary properties of this physical space that allows you to see it. So the, so the lichtum in early Heidegger is to do with this light of revealing. At least that's how I'm understanding it so far. He does change his mind completely later on, it seems, which I think is really interesting. In some of his later writings, in up to the 1960s, um, he, if you like, he sort of rejects that whole interpretation of Lichtum as having anything to do with light, even though it's pretty overt in his earlier writings. Um, he claims a different etymology for the, the word, in fact. 
um, lichtung with reference to light and lightness and illumination is assumed to come from licht, which means light, I think. And later Heidegger claims that when he's using the word lichtung, he means it to be derived from a word which I don't know how to pronounce, uh, licht, L-E-U-C-H-T, I think it's spelled, which I think means something like freeing up or um, clearing, clearing away. So as I understand it, it's used, for example, um, when, if you're on a ship, the anchor is lifted away from the surface of the ocean, uh, which frees up the ship. It's the kind of lightning, but it's not the, it's not the lightning of light, it's the lightning of a load. And the very specific um, application of lictum that Heidegger talks about in his latter writings is this word clearing. And the key metaphor that he uses for that is the metaphor of the forest. That you're walking through a forest and the, you know, navigation is difficult, your passage is difficult, visibility is, is difficult. All those things are obscured. And then you come to a clearing. And the clearing is freed of those obstructions. It has a, an easy navigation about it, it has an openness to it. Um, so Lichtung in later Heidegger suggests that he does relate it to light. He does, he, he does say that when he was talking earlier about Lichtung, he didn't mean lightness. But he does relate it to lightness a little bit in his later writings. He says that one of the properties of a, of a forest, since you're walking through it, when you come to this clearing, is that you know, the, yes, the, there's a break in the canopy of trees above. So light can spill through. So there may be a quality of light. But even when the sun isn't shining, even when it's dark, the clearing is still there. There is still an opening there. So it has this, it has a, a constancy which isn't a, a constancy of openness and a constancy of freedom, which isn't dependent upon the presence of light. It might facilitate the presence of light or it might um, work along with that, but it doesn't, it doesn't depend upon it. So, um, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I think it's quite an interesting complex relationship between metaphors of light and metaphors of openness. And this idea that this attempt, I think, by Heidegger in his later writings to try to um, mould that metaphor and complexify it so that it contains, well, all of the things I've already spoken about by placing it within this concept of a forest clearing. This is very interesting to me.